Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a while since I've done a video, partly because I've had this horrible cough, as many of you know, for the past month and a half, and I hope to get through this without coughing too much or clearing my throat. <clears throat> Today is the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter, and that feast uh, recognizes the authority of the Pope and the authority that Jesus gave to Peter. It always falls on February 22nd. This year, it falls on 2-22-22, which you could almost <clears throat> call Tuesday. Enough of the dad jokes. <clears throat> We're pretty much back in full power now that I've returned from my retreat which was very good, and, and it was a good opportunity for prayer and for fraternity, <clears throat> and also uh, praying for the parish and bringing the prayers of the parish uh, together with my brother priests. <clears throat> Happened to be in Tampa, Florida, which wasn't that bad either. <clears throat> One of the things that's <clears throat> come about over the last two weeks as we see not only in the town, but we're going to see in the churches, some of the changes in the COVID protocols. If you think of it, the COVID protocols <coughs> started coming into play just under about two years ago. Uh, it seemed like <coughs> hoping at the time that it would be a quick thing, but it really hasn't been. And I think it will be continued to be something that will be with us all of our lives. <coughs> According to the Catholic Church uh, and the Archdiocese of Boston, <clears throat> we will lift the mask mandate <clears throat> on March 1st. So next weekend, the <clears throat> the 26th and 27th, the mask mandate will still be in place uh, in our place of worship. Um, because we're miss, missing the mask, lifting the mask mandate, remember that masks are always optional. Uh, <clears throat> if someone isn't feeling well, it would be very prudent for them to wear a mask. Um, the mask protects others, not ourselves. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it will protect the people around you. And it is very much in the spirit of our Christianity to <clears throat> think of others before ourselves. So masks will become optional starting on March 1st. <clears throat> we will continue to have the social distancing sections in St. Teresa's on the two side sections where every other pew will be blocked off. And we ask people who sit there to <clears throat> a to uh, respect a six foot distance from another person. Uh, some people might sit there because they're more vulnerable. Some people might sit there because, <clears throat> for whatever reason, they were unable to get uh, a uh, vaccine. <clears throat> and we want everyone to respect that. So for the <clears throat> for the time being that social distancing, distancing section will remain in place. <clears throat> Some of our <clears throat> regular things will start to be restored gradually, um, such as uh, we hope to start to schedule altar service soon for Mass. <coughs> <coughs> and um, I've decided that once we bless the new water for Easter, we will have holy water available at the doors of the church. So uh, through Lent, we won't, um, not out of religious practice, but just uh, <clears throat> until we bless the new water at Easter, that seems like the right time to have the holy water at the doors of the church. Uh, for the time being, there will not be um, 
communion under both species. We will not be receiving come from the cup. I would say in uh, <clears throat> and not uh, too much in, uh, uh, for a while uh, in the future uh, before we <clears throat> restore that as well. Next Wednesday, <clears throat> the 2nd of March, uh, we begin our journey of Lent on Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> Lent for Catholics is a time of prayer, fasting, fasting and almsgiving, um, increasing our prayer, increasing our opportunities of prayer um, <clears throat> to take on a personal fast. It might be from <clears throat> certain luxury foods. It may be from <clears throat> certain luxury activities uh, as a sacrifice. It's um, it's meant to be a sacrifice. It's meant to sacrifice something that we enjoy in our lives for that period of Lent. Um, sometimes it's also <clears throat> will spearhead us for our lives. For instance, if we can <clears throat> go to Mass uh, every weekday during Lent, then after Lent we might realize that maybe we could find the time uh, for more prayer since we found it in those six weeks, we could continue that way. Um, there are times that we might fast from something that isn't good for us, like smoking or um, <coughs> other things. And uh, it doesn't make sense then on Easter Sunday to go back to that bad habit. Um, so Lent is a time of um, fasting, but it's also a time of uh renewal and uh, a time of changes in our lives. <clears throat> Almsgiving kind of follows from the fasting. If, if we're able to give up certain things, uh, that would open some resources that perhaps could go to things that are more useful, especially the, the care of the needy and the underprivileged. So <clears throat> they kind of go hand in hand. During Lent, uh, for Catholics, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday are days of fasting, where one meal is taken and the other meals during the day should not uh, together constitute a complete meal. Uh, that's required for people ages between the ages of 18 and 59. <clears throat> Fridays during Lent are days of abstinence from meat, uh, and that's for people ages 14 and up. One exception this year will be on Friday, March 25th. It's the solemnity of the Annunciation uh, when uh, the angel declared to Mary that she would be giving birth to the Son of God. Uh, <clears throat> because it's a solemnity, we don't fast on that Friday. <clears throat> During for Ash Wednesday this year, uh, our, our schedule has changed dramatically. Uh, number one, uh, since the last time we gathered for Ash Wednesday, well, we were three parishes and now we're one, um, <clears throat> we're going forward with a different model, especially from what we learned that year. So <clears throat> ashes will be distributed continually at St. Teresa's Church from 7 a.m to 9 a.m. on Ash Wednesday. There will not be an 8.30 Mass on Wednesday at St. Teresa's Church. <clears throat> at 12.05, there will be a Mass at St. Andrew's Church with the distribution of ashes. <clears throat> Between the hours of 4 and 6 in the afternoon, ashes will be distributed continually at St. Andrew's Church and St. Teresa's Church. And at 7 p.m., there will be <clears throat> Mass at St. Teresa's Church with ashes. I may have just said before that the 1205 Church, <clears throat> the 1205 Mass, correctly, the 1205 Mass is at St. Andrew's with the distribution of ashes. So that's the schedule for Wednesday, March 2nd, which is Ash Wednesday. <coughs> Throughout Lent, there will be additional opportunities for confession every week. Um, 
and they will be on Tuesday evenings from 6.30 to 8 at St. Teresa's Church. <clears throat> I advise people to space out the time during Lent. If everyone goes the last week uh, of Lent, then uh, <clears throat> you have a lot of people waiting and, and, and it, it becomes uh, tedious for some people. So <clears throat> I advise you to use all six weeks of Lent um, for the uh, Sacrament of Confession. We will also continue to have confession, of course, on Saturdays at 2 p.m. <clears throat> Stations of the Cross this year will be celebrated three different Fridays during Lent. March 11th at St. Teresa Church at 7 p.m. And that will be hosted by the Women's Club. <clears throat> March 18th, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to have an outside uh, Stations of the Cross with our new outdoor Stations of the Cross that were provided by... Seth Moody uh, for his um, Eagle Scout project and they're beautiful and it would be a nice opportunity to walk the stations. There will be chairs for those who have a hard time walking. <clears throat> and then on April 8th, Stations of the Cross will be celebrated at St. Andrew's Church and that's put it, being put on by the liturgy, uh, being hosted by the liturgy committee. The reason there won't be <clears throat> stations on March 4th and April 1st is <clears throat> because we have the exposition of <clears throat> the Blessed Sacrament and Sacred Heart devotions at that time at St. Andrew's Church, <clears throat> which is another opportunity for prayer and a great opportunity for Lent. <clears throat> and the reason we're not having it on March 25th is because it is a solemnity. <clears throat> As you start to think of what you're doing for Lent, we ask the question, do you know what you're going to be doing for Lent this year? We invite you to join the small group <clears throat> as a way to carve out more time for God. Scripture groups can help you read the Word of God, consider how God is already active in your life, and discover God's missions for you. <clears throat> Check out our website for more details and to register. <clears throat> it's great to be back and doing a uh, video again. I know it's been a while. Um, I wish you all a very uh, blessed Lent as we enter into this beautiful holy season and um, <clears throat> time to reconsider our relationship with God. <clears throat> and as always, we end in prayer. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, <clears throat> full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. St. Matthew the Evangelist, pray for us. St. Peter, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. Teresa of Lisieux, pray for us. <clears throat> Have a great rest of your week and <clears throat> a, a good and holy Lent as we enter into this beautiful season. God bless. <clears throat>